Welcome to our podcast that earned recognition first in 2019 and again in 2020 as one of the best podcasts in the marketing research industry. This is Research Business Daily Report. Because you're watching us today, we hope that you will accept our invitation to lend your support for this research news video series. We'll tell you how you can do so at the end of today's report. I'm Bob Letter, and now in my 26th year as the respected voice in market research. Lisa Wilding Brown, Innovate MR's Chief Research Officer, recently told me how concerned she was after reading some statements in a new study from Gray Matter. The study was entitled More Dirty Little Secrets of Online Panels. Would we give her a forum to respond to it? Of course I said. After all, who is out there that is more qualified to discuss all the elements that go into quality research reliable samples? So, here's Lisa. There's been some recent buzz about a report entitled More Dirty Little Secrets of Online Panels. This report, like previous ones released by the firm Gray Matter Research, paints a rather depressing and alarming picture for the sample industry. It suggests that up to 46% of the sample traffic furnished in today's surveys should be deemed unacceptable, riddled with programmatic bots and other undesirable behaviors. We don't know all the sample suppliers covered in this research, except that five of our industry's 10 largest sample suppliers were used for the test. Certainly, the title of this report caught my attention and troubled me greatly. As a sample practitioner armed with nearly 20 years in the online research space, my intention is to never mislead or keep critical information from our buyers. Fear and provocation need to give way to open and productive conversations about the sample universe we all rely on. I've been a fierce advocate for education and transparency about the threats facing our ecosystem. I've written several thought pieces and presented on countless conference stages about the topic of cyber fraud. At one point, I even did a live tour of the dark web pointing out the extraordinary efforts and technological sophistication employed by these nefarious actors. We're all aware of cyber fraud, yet according to Forbes, cyber fraud is slated to cost over $6 trillion annually to the world economy by the end of 2021. So we're confronted by something that is taking down multi-billion dollar brands and government agencies every day. And despite our best efforts, it cannot be eliminated. Worse, cyber fraud is never going away. It's fair to say some firms are doing a better job than others in fighting this battle. I strongly recommend that we work together as a research community to understand the existing threats and implement various strategies at every stage of our process. Even if you love your sample provider, relying solely on them is naive. Think of all the new strains of the virus facing humankind today. In a similar fashion, new permutations of cyber fraud and other undesirable behaviors are surfacing all the time. By nature, Data will always be filled with noise and dissonance. As researchers, a scrutinizing eye must be our standard, not a happenstance. As Steve Jobs once said, deciding what not to do is as important as deciding what to do. In other words, the researcher's role is critical in turning data into information and information into insight. So what can you do? First of all, don't get scared, get smart. Take control and implement effective and proactive strategies today. Most research professionals are familiar with the necessary steps, but are you doing everything you can? Remember to evaluate your sample providers closely and ask the tough questions about validation of the recruitment channels and what they're doing to mitigate risk on their end. Don't forget about the importance of thoughtful and strategic design. Fighting poor quality requires a true partnership between you and your sample provider. Make sure to develop survey questions that aren't leading in nature and get us involved sooner so we can help leverage our years of experience and provide consultation. Remember the delicate balance that must be achieved when it comes to red herrings. Not too simple, not too complex. And change your blueprint for success. Pull from a battery of questions so each participant sees a unique combination of checks. This will help you remain unpredictable, which is a cyber fraudster's worst fear. Next, leverage open ends and find a solution that will help you evaluate this powerful data in an easy and efficient way. Remember, context matters. And lastly, develop a plan for your data analysis before your survey fields. The dissonance in data is part of the fun. Think of yourself as a sleuth out to solve a case. None of us are impervious to cyber fraud. So let's work together 
to help create valid and compelling insights. That's a wrap on today's Research Business Daily Report and for this week. If you don't watch us regularly, you may not be aware that the editorial goal of every RBDR video is to present you with news insights and commentary that you just won't find anywhere else. And if you give us a regular viewing, well, you will have no doubt that what I just said is true. And as your appreciation for what we are presenting grows, we hope that you will then consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter. One such person is Lucy.ai's Mary Beth Weber, who we're proud to say became a Patreon supporter only last week. You can do the same by going to patreon.com slash rbdr. We hope you have a great research day and that this is a productive research week for you. Enjoy the upcoming weekend when we'll be looking for you back with us on Monday. And until then, please have an enjoyable and safe weekend.